economy. They don't have goji berry and ginseng in Madagascar. They have other things though that they use there for many kinds of health benefits. So I came across a pharmacist. She was traveling into many areas of the world, Papua New Guinea, Africa, South America, in Madagascar. And I asked her, she was looking for plants for Parkinson and Alzheimer's, for drug, for pharma. And I asked her, have you come across a plant that the local healers are telling you, use this, it's good for everything. So she said, nothing is good for everything. And so I gave her a copy of my book and I said, I'm not looking for something that is good for everything. I'm looking for something that is good for one thing, releasing your stem cells. But experientially in folks medicine, it would have been associated to many kinds of benefits. So she started to really think about it. And she said, well, it's interesting. She says, yes. During her last trip to Madagascar, on the way back to the airport, her guide and translator stopped at a market and scooped a whole bag of black beads. They look like black, like, uh, like tapioca. And uh, put that in the bag and say, test that. But you tell a scientist, test that. What does that mean? Like you test it for what? what? <laughs> so as any good scientist, you put it in the freezer and it was there for five years because <laughs> you don't know what to test it for. Uh, so she sent me a samples of these beads and um, and I consume them because that's what we do in the lab. You know, we are the first guinea pig. So we take a blood sample, we take them, and then we take another blood sample an hour, two hours, three hours later, and we count the number of stem cells. Wow. And we found the strongest response that we have seen so far. So because it was a remedy already available, I, in those things, I'm a little bit, I guess maybe I'm a little, little bit of a cowboy when, when these things happen. Like, I don't think I even ask what it was. I mean, if it is <laughs> Madagascar for centuries, I'm going to try okay. it. So I ask, what is it? And then, so it is, so you're in Madagascar with 60 different species of aloe and only one of them is used to make that remedy that is called Vahona in Madagascar. So it is aloe macroclada. So we went there and we developed, actually I did not develop. It was done in collaboration with a good colleague of mine now in Madagascar, John. So he really is a biochemist with pharma uh, who was working with that pharmacist and he quit his job, relocated to Madagascar and <laughs> developed a co-op of, because the product was not available into large harvest. So developed a co-op of farmers um, to go and harvest the plant because as Westerners, it's a plant that is protected in Madagascar, so we can't touch it. Uh, and I don't think we had an interest in touching it. So we we developed a co-op of harvesters. And so they bring out of the, the wild and the mountains around Antananarivo, uh, about like five to 10 tons of leaves on their head, about, about 30 kilos at a time. They walk in their flip-flops for hours out of the mountain on these muddy paths. Crazy story. Unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable. And so they bring it to a facility that we develop. And now it's, it's one of our main ingredients that we import for stem cells. Uh, I even made a small documentary on it because I'm thinking nobody can believe what it takes to take that I need that doco. Send me bring that it out from the mountains like this. But it, yeah. it's a fascinating project because yeah. it's tied to the it's tied to the uh, the um, the Convention on Biodiversity and the Nagoya Protocol that that requires uh, re reciprocity because we learn of that the, of that plant through ancestral knowledge. We cannot give a return just to the people doing the job. It goes to the community. So we also have like development of roads, hospitals, schools, and all of Marvelous. that coming. Yeah. benefits so so it's, it's a really cool project so that's one of these ingredients send me the doco <laughs> i'll put it in the link so if we can if you 